Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Gervonta Tank Davis may face former featherweight champion Jesus Cuellar, April 21st. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Vimo donations, and the Patreon family we work in. Now, this is not finalized, but Showtime up front, they had that press conference in New York in January, I believe. It was a while ago, and they announced all these fights for 2018. They announced Adrian Broner versus Omar Figueroa officially April 21st, and they said Gervonta Tank Davis was going to be on that card versus a to-be-announced opponent. Now, I heard they were trying to make Billy Dib, and I don't know what happened, but it looks like that fight has fallen apart. I mean, honestly, I don't think Billy Dib is really trying to get no work because the IBF ruled that he was supposed to fight I think Tevin Farmer and for some reason that fight fell apart and then Tevin Farmer ended up fighting the, the Japanese dude who beat him in, in a controversial fashion then failed a drug test and then now he had an opportunity to fight on a big card with Billy Dib or with Tank Davis and that fight fell apart so I don't know ever since he's left 50 Cent <laughs> something special right I don't really know what's up with Billy Dibb's career. Again, I don't know the full details, but when fighters start showing me patterns, then you kind of have to point to to the fighter. That's, I mean, that's kind of what it's seeming like. I don't understand how these fights are falling apart. Now, Tank Davis might fight Jesus Cuellar, who's a former featherweight champion for regular WBA belt, April 21st. Again, this is not finalized. You can file it under Ego Rumor Mill. Surprised I haven't really heard many people talking about it. And that's the latest. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. But I think this is going to go down. Um, my thoughts on it real quick. I like Tank Davis. He, he's a future star. Definitely an action fighter to watch. But he has boxing ability. Jesus Cuellar, even though he's a former featherweight, he mentioned, I think, struggling to mate weight around the Abnomatis time. He lost to Abnomatis. So he said he was moving up um, in interviews and whatnot. So I guess he's going to move up and fight Tank Davis. They both have power. Obviously, Cuellar's power, we don't really know at 130. But we'll have to see. I mean, but Cuellar's from Argentina. He's a big puncher, at least at, at the featherweight division. So that's not a it's not a bad fight. I mean, obviously, it's not like Tank versus one of the top guys at 130. But... In terms of a like a co-main event fight, I don't think it's a bad fight. Now, as far as the WBA, I don't understand what's up with all the regular and super belts. I mean, Keith Thurman's a super champion at welterweight, and then they just gave Lucas Matisse an opportunity at belt, fighting a guy who wasn't even really heard of, the Taram Karam or whatever his name was from Thailand. He knocks him out, and now Lucas Matisse is the regular champion. So. I'm not sure what's going on because I'm pretty sure someone has the WBA belt at 130, the super version. So I thought the game plan, I thought the WBA said that they're going to try to consolidate the belts. I mean, kind of like they did with Gennady Golovkin versus Danny Jacobs. Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, was the super champion and Daniel Jacobs was the regular champion. Then they fought last year and that consolidated the belt when Triple G beat Jacobs. So I'm not really understanding. I mean, they need to start ordering some shit quick, like Keith Thurman versus Lucas Matisse. Let Keith Thurman get his tune up, and then he needs to fight Lucas Matisse. I mean, he's not trying to fight Errol Spence Jr. from his own mouth. Uh, Sean Porter and Danny Garcia, I don't know if he wants those fights, but if not, uh, the, the WBA needs to do that so we can start consolidating some of these belts. So I don't really know what happened in terms of Tank Davis. Because I thought he was going to try to challenge for the IBF belt. 
but now it looks like he might be going the WBA route. I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.